massive footprint. My God, what is that smell? Here's how to survive Bigfoot. Subscribe and like this episode for more. Standing at three meters tall and weighing in at about 270 kilograms, Gigantopithecus lived throughout Southeast Asia. But about 100,000 years ago, the giant beast disappeared. Or did it? Is the Gigantopithecus Bigfoot? Where can it be found? And would it eat you? There have been reports of Bigfoot sightings in almost every state in the U.S., and the chances of Bigfoot living in the dense forest of North America are high. So if you find yourself face to face with this mythical creature, don't worry, you still have a chance to live through it if you follow these steps. Step 1. Smell the air. Pay attention to pungent smells around you. Bigfoot is known to have an intense bodily odor. Hopefully, you can avoid an encounter if you manage to get a whiff and run in the other direction. But only if Bigfoot hasn't spotted you, as this giant could easily outrun you. In 1958, a road construction crew discovered human-like footprints that were an incredible 40.6 centimeters long. The local newspaper gave it the now legendary name, Bigfoot. Unfortunately, the tracks were planted near Bluff Creek in Northern California by a man named Ray Wallace. But his prank was not revealed until he died in 2002 and his children said it had all been just a joke. In 1967, Robert Patterson and Bob Gimlin filmed a few seconds of a hairy creature walking on two legs by the same Bluff Creek. This is probably the most famous and contested piece of Bigfoot evidence to this day. Step 2 slowly back away. It is unlikely that Bigfoot will attack you unless you provoke it, but a confrontation would not end well for you. So if Bigfoot approaches you, keep cool and try to keep a large amount of space between you. If you find yourself face to face with this giant, it will likely feel threatened. Some people have speculated that Bigfoot might make a threatening display by grunting, hooting, or screaming. Take this threat seriously and back away slowly. Step 3. Share a meal. If you have food with you, offer it to Bigfoot by dropping it at a distance from the creature, then slowly walk away. If Bigfoot approaches you, it likely wants your food. But don't worry, you're not on the menu. It could be like its cousin, the Gigantopithecus. Researchers believe that its diet was mainly fruits, some leaves, and roots. Step 4. Do the turtle. As a last resort, it is likely that acting submissive can help you during an encounter. If Bigfoot approaches you and none of the other tips work, sit down and stay still. Do not stare it in the eye and remain calm. It will most likely get bored and leave you alone. Whatever you do, do not be aggressive toward Bigfoot. Based on the assumption that it is very similar to humans, avoid showing any behavior or body language that seems aggressive. And physically, you wouldn't have a chance of winning a fight. If Bigfoot does exist, and it is a direct descendant of the Gigantopithecus, how did this Asian giant end up in North America? Well, the creature could have crossed the ice bridge during the Ice Age and ended up in North America. Then it could eventually have evolved into separate species. Native Americans believe that there are beings that live deep in the forest, and they were put there by the Creator to help them and protect them during the times of hunting and gathering. Could one of those creatures be Bigfoot? 71 new species were discovered in 2019, so it isn't unreasonable to state that we don't know about everything that lives on Earth. We have found many well-known species in part because of folklore. We discovered the giant panda in 1869, the Komodo dragon in 1912, and the mountain gorilla in 1902. But would these survival tips help you if a mountain gorilla appeared in front of you? We've got the perfect video to help you get out of that situation. To be prepared and stay alive, keep watching How to Survive.